I've had animals around me all the time. I have raised a variety of animals. I first started off with a goldfish. Technically, it was Amy's goldfish, which I brought from, pre from preschool as a prize. While she was at school and I was at home, I constantly fed her goldfish, maybe 10 times that day. I was OCD about feeding him, okay? <laughs> Unfortunately, he died by the time Amy got home. <laughs> and to this day, Amy has yet to forgive me. <laughs> you can probably guess the next pets I raised. Chickens. I don't know why we started raising chickens. My dad just brought them home one day in the back of his truck, built a pen for them in our backyard, and then set them loose. I gave my chickens really unique names, such were black chicken, white chicken, black and white chicken, <laughs> yellow chicken number one, yellow chicken number two, and yellow chicken number three. During the summer, I traveled to China for the first time. Over there, my sisters and I decided to buy a bunny. We named him Funicula. Unlike our chickens, we didn't give our rabbit a unique name. Fun fact, did you know rabbits scream right before they die? <laughs> because he never got the chance to. <laughs> One summer day, my sisters were having a really heated argument while I was playing with my bunny. My bunny and I were having such a good time that he couldn't wait to hop back to his cage. I looked away towards the TV when I hear my oldest sister yell, Amy, get out of the way! I heard Amy grunt and I heard a crunch. <laughs> I was so into the movie that I didn't realize something was wrong. Then my right hand that was paying Vanicula felt like it was rubbing on something really rough. Definitely not my bunny's fur. I looked down and to my horror, Amy's foot is on top of my bunny. <laughs> Amy had killed our bunny with her foot. <laughs> Sounds fill the air and we knew that we would never forget our bunny or the tragic accident that took us off. <laughs> Going back to the USA, I was really excited to see my chickens. However, there are zero chickens left. Absolutely zero. I didn't bother asking my dad if I'd stay in the US what had happened to them until one night during dinner. We had really good chicken that night. <laughs> so I asked my dad, hey dad, how'd you make this? He gave me a really big answer. I cooked it. <laughs> To start a conversation, I asked, well, where'd you get it? He said, from the backyard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. We sent them back to the car. For the next few years, pets will come and go in my life. These pets will mean a lot to me, and I hopefully mean a lot to them. If there's one thing I learned in my life, it's to cherish the time you spend with your pets and not take them for granted, and to keep them away from Amy's feet. <laughs>
so everyone who actually came to the last JSA meeting, come on Tuesday because you're getting brownies or something. The soccer girls, we're doing our awards next Friday, not tomorrow, at lunch. We're going to meet behind the chapel. We had our last game yesterday, and it was a, uh, a well-fought game. We played really hard, so we need to know. And uh, we have a few gifts for our sake for our seniors. So, Michael Wu, really Michael Wu, would you come down to the next <laughs> He simply replied, yes, in college I studied your mom. <laughs> Depression among frogs has spiked in recent years. Some of them have even tried to Kermit suicide. <laughs> On the original set of Star Wars, the man who played Chewbacca, he actually started, accidentally started a fire in the green room. And George Lucas almost fired him for this, but he let it slide, considering it was a Wookiee mistake. <laughs> Our visiting poet is going to host a workshop at 12 in room 8 today at 12 o'clock. Tossicant, uh, there's a meeting tomorrow in the Mac Lab at lunch, so we definitely need everybody to come out because there's going to be an explanation of things that are really complex and you miss it. It's going to be back. 